Okay, so let's look on this terrain on the back. And it is already kind of large, but what I want to do, because I want to create a big mud on and large and stretch up. So I notice it's kind of covered too much. So let's go ahead, see if we can find mm, something a little bit more sharper. So we'll click right there. Let's let's increase as well resolution on this one. So we got better details. Oh, this is looking nice. And I'm just rotating so I can preview. We have it nice. I think this one is look very good. Okay. Also, we can look from different angles. I think if we're going from this kind of angle, will look very good. Okay. Let's click OK. And this point, I can actually rotate just slightly. So we had a nice, beautiful mountain right there. Okay. And on this one here, we can just just slightly bring a little bit up and a little bit increase size. If you notice the heel sometimes does not go very strong. Remember, you can always stretch so we can actually take and stretch this little bit out. If I do stretch, I do like to take and rotate a little bit towards camera because this way when we start polluted plants, they will look bigger here and smaller, smaller to the end. So it will add this additional effect or layering effect of the dimension kind of going far away stuff. Okay, overall, I think we have a preset for our mountains. We have a preset for our uh, foreground. So let's go work on some materials and we'll start with our big mountain. So let's set schedule scale to one. And I'm just going to open and see, okay, uh, let's go to materials. And by itself, landscape, if you look in the view, it's had a very beautiful collections of many ones. This scrublands, snow scrublands, it's created beautiful. If you can see right here on the top with the green, this is just perfect to fit our, what we want to do. So next we'll just take these two terrains. Okay. And let's say scale scale to one of them we'll open and for this one actually i want to use it or grass or we also have it there rock and grass so it's depend which one you like it i think rock and grass will work very good for this because for our first terrain i want just go and preload it a grass look okay as we previewing notice right here we have a little line sometimes maybe pop up so let's go take our ground and add grass as well for this. So now we have it. If it does not apply, sometimes you maybe one switch back to um, rock and grass. I also notice we have a little bit different view. So right here you see rock and grass and we also have a little bit dry grass. So dry grass look as well and you can see will look very nice. And that one maybe actually will work a little bit better. So let's go switch to dry grass on that one. And ground will switch to the dry grass. Okay, let's preview. And I think maybe even first terrain, front one, want to switch a little bit to create um, dry grass on this one as well. Yeah, I don't really bit like how it's come up. So let's put it dry grass on this one. And the mountains, it's look a little bit wrong. So on this one, terrain, let's open. And I don't necessarily like how it's look. It's look kind of weird a little bit. So let's go to effects. We'll click on diffuse. Just let's play with a little bit. This one river valley will add some nice strikes to this so we can try to add and create those um, erosions right there on the sides of this. So it's take a little bit time when it's applied. You can see great terrain because we're on high resolution on this. But right here after all, you can see it, it does, it's great. Actually quite a bit nice, I like this a lot. So let's clip it okay. We have a nice position in this. And the far away mountain, this one, a couple of things kind of does not work. So maybe 
kind of shrinking a little bit. Try to reposition. Yeah, that one maybe work a little bit better. I do like peaks. A little bit not necessarily a big fan of this two-ish grayish. It does not look nice. So we could modify, take this brown rock and go switch this a little bit more to the dark kind of type of rock. So it will have it black. So that one may work a little bit better. As well with the grass, we need to go right there and set to match our yellow grass slightly. There you go. So it's look a little bit better. Okay, let's preview, see what we have so far. And you can see we play with a little bit materials, adjust some shapes. Yes, I think this is bound to look better with far away. We have it right here, nice heels and nice cover also on this area. Okay. Let's go right stretch, maybe just a little bit. Okay, just repositioning so we have it. Okay, so the other things I'll notice right here. Maybe not big fan of this mountain kind of a little bit of dump on the middle. So me we'll see. We'll just go right here on the side and we'll see if maybe we'll play around a little bit more, you know, maybe put even all the way to this side, creating and put some big plants on this house. I will play with a little bit more with these compositions. We'll see how they will going. For now, I'll just put it right on the middle. Stick on the center. And um, let's go next tutorial, start actually painting ecosystems, start putting plants here.